was using like the blemish control for instance um, green little bottle that I have and that I got at um, Dollar Tree it didn't do anything like I noticed that it's, it didn't do anything to the pimple it didn't, didn't go away and that doesn't really mean that the product is bad it just means that my my acne is more stubborn than most people um, I I get hormonal acne um, so it could have been stress related due to this pain that I'm having and uh, not being able to get sleep at night having to go to the hospital lately like three times this month <laughs> for pain and um, so I'm thinking that I probably broke out I would go to sleep and wake up with massive pimples so, mean ones too, you know. And um, I tried using the Dollar Tree Spot Corrector. It's like a dupe for the Clean Clear, and that did not work at all. It just seemed to like, it seemed to go on like Vaseline or something like that, and just didn't do anything. So, I'm not going to use that again. I won't be repurchasing that, but I just stopped using since this started breaking out right here, I stopped using my, all of, like, most of the, um, Dollar Tree face stuff for now. Not all of it, but the majority of it. Not because I think I'm breaking out from that. I don't think I am, because I was using it before, fine, and it didn't break me out, but I think that the stress is causing me to break out right here from the pain. And I need more, like, the stubborn acne Neutrogena that I usually use for it. It really, and the toner that I use for that, too, like, just dries out the pimples. So, it has nothing to do with the, the it, with Dollar Tree, like, say, cleansers and stuff. I'm sure they're getting my face clean. It's just, um, more or less that I have just stubborn, more stubborn acne than most people. But, um, I went to, um, one Dollar Tree in where my aunt lives, which is about 30 minutes away from my mom's house. And, uh, I couldn't believe what I found there because I had seen these, and I've seen these at TJ Maxx for a lot more. But, um, yeah. I've seen these on TikTok. I never thought I would see this. But Dari brand beauty. And there's three colors here. Like a it look what looks like a um a soft minty green. Like a seafoam green. A pink color and then um like a beige color. And they're liquid highlighters to illuminate. These are the colors right here in the back. See, like light green, pink, and, or like blush and beige. And basically you shake well before you use. Use applicator to apply anywhere on the face and body for a luminous glow. This is here blend out with fingers or sponge. Alone on top of powder or mixed with your favorite liquid liquid foundation for all overglow. Now, one of you get has mentioned on one of my videos that um, they made a comment. I didn't respond to it yet. Um, it's hard for me to respond to comments, guys. Sometimes I you just know I read everything. Um, they said that uh, why we don't. Uh, 
six of them, I'll take three of them, and I'll leave three. But if I go back to the store and I see them three there, again and again and again, I'm going to take those three eventually. I'll take one, maybe the second visit, and then if I see those two just sitting there again, I'm going to take them. Why? Because even Dollar Tree will state this on the in their stores everywhere. It's like a little thing that says, buy it before it's gone, and it's true. You just don't ever know. They're fickle about, like, their products and the just, like the way that they buy all these, like, brands and stuff. You may not ever see that brand again there. It's happened to many of the favorite brands that I, like, there was a Bolero that they used to sell a lot there. You only see a little bit now. But, um, I wish I had a pop more of the Bolero. Um, I think it was mint cucumber or something like that. Eucalyptus. Um, I think it was aloe vera. Aloe vera eucalyptus facial wipes because they are very, very, they're cucumber. Aloe vera and cucumber Bolero face, wipe, face wipes. It smells so good and they make you feel real refreshed like they give you like an energized feeling after using them but um i wish i had a bought more because i thought they would always be there and now you can't find them anymore and i tried looking them up on ebay and people try to um mark up the price on ebay for like one or two when I got it for $1.25, you know, they want like $35, sometimes $40 for those brought for two, for two white base wipes. I'm not going to pay that much. So that's why whenever I go, you know, I don't try to grab everything, but I try to grab um, a good amount where when I'm done using it, I'm not going to have trouble, you know, I know I'm going to have trouble finding it again, so, or I might not ever see it again, um, so I get, I get as many as I can, you know, and that's the reason why I do it, I don't want to run out of my favorite product. I was excited for guys. We're all excited. 
um, you have to have patience when working with this because it's not like the TikTok like videos where they just show them like going like this. Oh wow, look, my hair's straight now. No, because you gotta take it and you have to like push it and you have to go slow down like that. Um, so that way the hair it, it's the little I guess the little um area in there that was hot and straightens the hair, but it did a good job. It took about twenty minutes to do my hair. To do all of it. But um I don't know what those TikTok brand brushes that you see all the wear everywhere and Instagram ones. I'm not sure how those work, but those are like $26. Um, some are $40, and I got this for $10. I got this for $10. At, uh, this one was the last one. I don't, I wish that it, you know, was not bent right here, but that was good for me anyway, so. Um, I had been wanting to. One, I had been wanting one of these for ten dollars. Um, I was like, okay, I'll get it. Um, the heating temperature goes up to two sixty six to three ninety two degrees Fahrenheit. Um, power is forty watts. That's got a six foot cable. <laughs> but um. which 
scrunchy or whatever. And I got these colors right here, so pretty. And um, I also got these colors. They match. I like the blue. But um, I really like these colors too. I like this blue and this color. But um, I'm always like looking for things like this in the house. Um, hair dyes, scrunchies, things like that. Because I really wear my hair up a lot rather than down. It bothers me. Especially at night. I wear my hair up all the time. But I like this. Um I may um do one of these in a giveaway. I may put one in a giveaway. Next thing I got get is this cute little bag. I had seen these bags, guys, and um I was like, I was getting like annoyed because there are some products that I see over and over and over again on TikTok, viral finds, and they kind of hype them up. It's like they're overrated. And right now, guys, I think, I think this thing right here is overrated. Let me show you. Um, this right here is very overrated. Let me see if I can get it out. Thin bin hand sanitizer. 
box from the U-boat right away, and um, they take all, they take everything. So yeah, I, I don't, I wouldn't do that only because, you know, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would just take three and three, and um, not just because I'm not, you know, a rich person, but I don't know, I just there's something about that I just don't like. <laughs> I guess it really doesn't matter because, you know, a lot of people are going to, if they, if you have money and you can buy it and then you want it, you are a consumer and you see it, why not? You know what I mean? I really don't really have a really an opinion about it. I don't get mad at those people that do it because they, if they have the money for it and they can, and they can buy the whole lot, go in, they found it, you know, they got there first. You know, it is, it is kind of like, you know, if, um, gotta be quickest to the draw, you know what I mean, like the, the one that sees it first, but the thing that annoys me is these overrated products that people overrate, they over glamorize a Dollar Tree, like for instance, this is cute, I like it, it's very cheap guys, it's made real cheap, but the only reason I got it, I'm gonna use it in the giveaway, I think this part right here is really cheap, I can feel like, um, that this little thing might be cheap. Um, the only reason I got it for the giveaway is it is it's cheap inside, yes, but I like that it has like a I can see where it's stitched, you know what I mean, like in place and everything it's made. Okay. I can see you putting your products in here, you know, your makeup and stuff or whatever or whatever and it not breaking if you take care of it, you know what I mean? Now, they have these makeup bags. They're like, they're makeup, they're makeup bags, but not like this, but like look like this. But they're bags, okay, made like this. And they're made out of what, PVC or whatever. And um, they are so cheap, so cheap. Like literally, like I could just see myself putting makeup in it, it being heavy and like breaking. Or like, I don't know, it just, they just seem so cheap and people are like going goo goo gaga over these like little bags. And I'm like, I would, I, I'm not even going to buy those for my kittens. <laughs> They're too cheap. I would rather go to TJ Maxx or give you one of them ones that I've gotten on eBay, which are much nicer. Like from Victoria's Secret, you know. Even Ipsy has better, <laughs> um, better bags, but... I can hear people walking and it's 12 o'clock guys. I think it's 1 o'clock in the morning. It's weird. But um, I bought this for a giveaway because I thought it was pretty. I like the colors in it. I hadn't seen it before and left it. I was like it's too cheap. But if you really like it I would suggest you know changing maybe the this thing right here. If you feel like it's going to be too cheap. <laughs> For dollar twenty-five, guys, you know. But I just I like the way that it was reinforced right here. I just would put light things in here, like not too much, so that way you don't wear it down. It's made okay. It's not the best, but for a giveaway, and you put all the little, like you know, your little. If I put all the little cute things in there and send it to you, that'd be nice. I like that, I but those big bags, I've seen them. They were, they were like, oh my God, look at this. The elusive bags, and I'm like, I've seen those. I did not buy them, not even for my kittens, not for you guys, oh, that's too cheap. There's, there's a limit to what I will buy. Um, like if it's too, too cheap, I won't, I'm not gonna give it away to somebody. And I wouldn't use it myself because 
party, like, uh, uh, what do they call that, ombre, friendship, Burnt pink, and, uh, they have different, um, different shapes and sizes and stuff, but this is neat because at Dollar Tree, usually you only get 12, they only, like, buy, um, brands that only give you and provide you 12, and you have to buy, like, two or three of them, so that way you don't run out of nails when they pop off. Um, this has 24 nails. I only need one. It's got plenty to, like, if one pops off, you can reapply it or, you know. It's got a nail file. And it has glue. I use my own glue. I use the glue that I only brand glue. But this is, like, really good deal. Because I was at TJ Maxx not too long ago, and I returned these ones like this, but in purple. Actually, they were blue, blue tip, just like this, almost the same. And they were like, I want to say they were like nine dollars, guys. And I returned them, dollar twenty-five. <laughs> what a deal! I might just give this away in a giveaway because I have a lot of nails, but you can never have too many of these, like really nice nails. some more of this. I've really grown to like this stuff. Um, I really don't really use it for eczema. I use it because it, uh, it guys, last time I was like, um, describing this product, I didn't even realize it said eczema relief. I was over there, like, trying to over, like, explain this and say, over review it and say that you shouldn't buy this if, you know, you think it's gonna cause, you're gonna cure your eczema. It'll only bring you relief, but it says it right there. Eczema relief on the lotion bottle. I didn't see that. I felt kind of dumb afterwards. So basically, this is a good product because it comes out, but it's, it's sealed, guys, and I don't want to use it because I might give this away to get away. It comes off like real thick, like a balm. You know what I mean? Like body butter, real thick. And um, this is great lotion for like eczema relief if you have dry skin. <coughs> A little bit of eczema. I just wouldn't say that if you think that you, it's gonna like be um, a cure, a cure all for the eczema or psoriasis or things like that. It's not. It's good to just relief, give you relief for a little bit. So. This is a good brand. If you should see this brand, get it. It's also um, has a high score on the Yuga. Like, it's like some product uh, reviewer or like rater on. It's like an app. It's called Yuka. I think it's Y U K A. I have it. I had to pay for it just so that way I could you know, rate stuff. Now I kind of regret doing that because I don't do it all the time, but, um, I saw it on TikTok. But it, you just scan the little barcode and, uh, oh, my phone's right there. I'm, I'm using my phone. You just scan the barcode and it'll pop up the product wherever, Dollar Tree, wherever, and it'll tell you if it's good, uh, ingredients. This one came up pretty high, pretty high, so... Guys, a lot of my products that I buy are not I. Some of them are poor. And I wouldn't buy again. I'll do a video on that soon. I'm talking about skincare. I bought some more Grin because along with uh, Guru Nada, I like Grin. I like this. The reason I like these is because two reasons. They have double, um, the double strands. And they have a minty, they have mint, like, flavor in the, in the string, so. I was gonna buy two, but I told myself, Nikki, they always have these, they do, they have these a lot. I think this has been around for about a year and a half, so, yeah, they have these. I'll find them again, hopefully, but I just didn't get two. They give you a lot. They give you 60. It took me like four months 
friends, um, I was gonna get the Guru Nada brand. I think I've already done a um, review or I've told y'all about these or showed them to you before, but they have them in Guru Nada. But I found them in Grin, which I love Grin. These are good. These are like, I want to say they're like the same like concept of like um, the, uh, um, or design, I would say like a pipe cleaner. Like a little, they're a tiny, 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 tiny pipe cleaner that you put in your, in your teeth though. And um, it comes with a little cap. They have, you can use them and, you know, wash them and use them again like 10 times before you get rid of it. Um, this one they give you, um, they give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. they give you 10, they give you 10 of them, whereas, uh, versus like, Gurunanda only gives you four, so, I thought this was a better deal, I had, I have, I gave away to my mother, um, I gave her a gift, I'll show y'all, I'll show y'all another video what I gave to her. I might show y'all now what I gave to her, but, um, in a moment, but the, um, the crew not had only four, four, six, I think it has four with the caps on them, and, uh, they're cute and all, very aesthetic, I know, I look at that, they're very cute, but these, um, have the cap on them too, but they get, you get ten of them, and I was looking at, like, um, amount versus, you know, uh, price. So I thought this was the better deal. I thought this was the better deal. So I put the ones from Garonanda back and I got this instead. I still have one more from Garonanda and the six, I think it's, one, two, three, four, I think there's four in there. Yeah. So this I'm gonna keep because when I got rid of the one from Gurunanda, I wanted to stock up again and have another one. But when I saw this, I had to get this one instead because it's ten in a pack. My last pack. When I went to that last, um, cause I went to this one and then I went to one more that night or tonight. Then I went to one more tonight and I had some stuff in my hand, but I was like. It was more just impulse buying. Like, I was like, no, I shouldn't buy this because, you know, there's always tomorrow. There's always, there's always, there's gonna be Sunday too. So I might go to another Dollar Tree. And I wasn't to save my little money that I um, put aside for my Dollar Tree, for my Dollar Tree time. I took out a certain amount for this weekend to spend there and I don't want to go over that so I am like limiting what I buy. I don't, you know, usually I would just go crazy but <laughs> I'm actually starting to put the brakes on a lot of my, like, a lot of my spending. And I, I'm going to just tell y'all I'm spending my money that I work that I do for these videos. I'm spending my YouTube money. I really shouldn't have to say this, but for um, some that are, have trolled me and like, asked me about like what I'm, why I spend so much. First of all, you don't know my finances. Second of all, I can spend what I want. That's the third of all. Uh, I make money with YouTube and with TikTok. And a lot of this stuff I'm giving away back to y'all as a thank y'all. Um, a lot of the stuff I use 
cutest one. So I found this one. They had a peach colored one too, but I liked the more gold um, with a uh, uh, burgundy. No, not hot pink. Blush pink. Thing. 
No, and no, I did not just leave products wherever, you know, the ones that I decided to put back. I actually limped my way over to the little area and put the stuff back. So, just in case you're wondering, I was one of those people. No. Although, when something falls on the ground, guys, I don't pick it up. I can't. It's too hard for me to pick things up right now. So, I mean, I feel bad about it, but... And I look, like, lazy when stuff falls on the floor, but I just literally, like, physically cannot pick things up. I mean, like, it's sad, but, like, if something falls on the floor, say, and, uh... Even if I wanted, like, if it was a product that I was gonna buy, I would either have somebody help me get it, or I would just leave it alone out of embarrassment and walk away from it. There's nothing I can do. I can't pick it up with my leg like this. The reason I say that is because I was looking at some books, and um, one of the books fell on the floor, and I just, <laughs> I was like, well, that's, I can't get it. There was, fortunately, there was no one around, but I felt bad, because it was like, I felt bad that it fell on the floor like that, and I didn't pick it up, but it wasn't because I didn't want to pick it up, it was because I just physically cannot do it. <laughs> I was limping, so, you know, <laughs> um, I have not seen this before, this is something new for me, I would seen it on TikTok videos, first time I ever seen it at the, at a Dollar Tree, uh, essentially, Ageless by Be Pure, very good brand, by the way, and they, it comes in a little corrector, I almost left it there, even though I, had only seen this on TikTok finds, but, um, I decided to try it because, um, I like, I like, um, correctors, like concealers for, um, you know, like little, little blemishes and stuff, but this is not a fair color. It's lighter than me. So I don't know if you remember what I say about lighter colors for correctors for me. I use them as a primer around the eye and for eyeshadow primer. So with this, I will be using this as an eyeshadow primer. The reason I was gonna leave it there was because um, um, there was three reasons. One, because I have tons of correctors. I have a CoverGirl one, I have a L'Oreal one, I have a Maybelline one, I have so many. But that I use all the time. But, oh, and another reason is because I've never seen this. This is the first time I've seen it. This is the last one they had. And thirdly, because it was fair. It was a fair color. This was not even my color. But I decided to take a gamble on this and see it because I do like the brand Be Pure. I decided to go ahead and get it and see what, you know, if this is a good brand to, or I know it's a good brand, but if this is a good product, and um, I'll never probably never find it again. That's the reason why I didn't really feel like getting it, because what if it's really good? I'll never find it again. Kind of like one of those hit or misses. And the last thing I got, guys, is this uh, pretty, pretty, beautiful little clip. I love this clip so much. I had seen it at one Dollar Tree and it made its way to, the, to this Dollar Tree over here, right? You know, next to my mom's house. But I had seen it at another Dollar Tree in another, like, obscure area of town and that people don't really shop and don't really like, um, it's not a really populated uh, area, not like the city. And they had a ton, a ton of, like, really blinked out, um, clips and stuff. Before I bought this, though, I wanted to see if it would hold my hair. I wanted to see if it would actually clip my hair. So, I did the test. I took it. My hair is clean, I know. And I went like that to see if it would actually, I know my hair looks crazy. I'll see you. 
him again. Never saw him again until today. Um, that was probably like two months ago. So I didn't feel like going all the way back to that Dollar Tree where I found these. I don't even remember where like that place was. It just happened to be one. I was going to a doctor's appointment and I saw Dollar Tree and I stopped to it and they had all these. They had way more than this though. They had a bunch of them like this all blinked out. But guess what? I want to. One for a giveaway. So, yeah. This is for the giveaway. I bought one for me and one for a giveaway. So guys, that was the last of it. Um, so... That is the last of what I got and, um... I'm gonna do a video where I try out. I'm not gonna do a video yet on these because I want to find, I wanna find all my lipsticks like this and see, like the duos, and see which ones I have. I'm pretty sure I don't have the last four that I showed you. Just the five, I'm pretty sure I have that purple color. And if I have that purple color, I'm going to give it away in a giveaway. This was such a crazy thing I found though. I went to another Dollar Tree. I thought, oh wow, um, that's crazy that I found this was the last one to it that was there. I don't see anymore. At that Dollar Tree. And then the very last Dollar Tree that I went to that I decided not to get anything at, um, they had a bunch of them. Look. 
this is that girl Nanda guys remember I was talking about the girl Nanda um pics like little pipe cleaners <laughs> they only have four see how they're aesthetic they're cute looking you can wash them when you're done picking and keep using these ten times but there's only four four brushes now it does say mint flavor I like that but they only have four versus the ten that now I'm not so sure I think I'm gonna leave leaving my mom this I kind of want to give her the grin instead like switch it out only because she's my mom and I want to give her the best but um, yeah, I think I just, she had asked me about these. She goes, I like these. She said, if you go to the Dollar Tree and you see more of these, get me more. Okay. So that's why I'm like, should I switch them out and give her the better ones? Or should I just go, you know, if I see them again, get them, the, I'll just do it that. I'll give her these. And when I go again and I see those again, the green ones, I'll get them, I'll get my mama back. I also gave my mom... Um, this lavender air freshener for her bathroom. It smells good. It smells really good, like lavender. I gave my mother in this little bask in this little bag. Um, I am mask. And I gave her a foot mask. And lavender. I have a bunch of these. I stocked up on those because I really like love this feel of these. Like these make your your hands and fingernails feel really nice and soft. So and your feet. So I'm big on that. And see, I gave my mom one of these. It was the last one I had. I only had peach. I only had bought a peach and grape. And I'm using the beach now and I gave her this. That is why I went and I saw all of the, the I saw they had it stocked up on these at this last uh, Dollar Tree. I went ahead and bought the grape again. Um, there's Tylenol, she must have taken Tylenol and just put that in there. I gave my mom one of these little blushes. She was like, what is this? She goes, what is this lipstick? I told her, no, mom, it's liquid blush. Liquid blush. Yeah, it says liquid blush. And this is new. This is new, guys. I gave my mom um, this um, Olay, compared to Olay Regenerist um, Revitalizing Moisturizer Day and Night Cream. I, I went back for the night cream. I have one of these more. I have two more of these. Actually, I'm using one and I have another of these. But I, will, I went back. I bought one more of these, which this is the one I gave my mom. I only had one. But that's okay because I have an actual oil of Olay Regenerous night cream that my mom gave me. And um, I already tried, not this one, but I've. Well, I opened the packaging on this before I gave it to her just to smell it and like just dab it because um, I just wanted to see, just making sure that my like shirt is not, that this little mic is not like rubbing against the, my shirt. That would not be good. Anyway, I was just making sure that um, this was creamy and like, like the oil of Olay. Or like the Olay Regenerous Night Cream. I already have some my mom gave me that I use every night. So it feels the same. It smells the same. Um, so I gave them to my mom. The next thing I gave her, guys, is this little cute little um, 
last me forever. And um, I saw that I had one um, in my, and in, in I brought my, um, my box, my beauty box. So I went ahead and um, said, hey, mom, you want one? She has one. I've given her one as a gift before. But I asked her if she wanted another one. She was like, yeah. So she put it in there in her little bag. I got this at um, DJ Maxx, guys. This I have in peach. And I guess this is in uh, strawberry. Um, it smells so good. It feels good. It's collagen. As collagen is one of their key um, ingredient, collagen li milk strawberry lotion with collagen, and it does. It feels very good when you apply it. It feels real soft. Um, this packaging is so cute. I think what's cute about this is that when you're done with this, you could put. It's really thick. The um the, the bottle is thick. And um, once you're done with it, you could apply, you could put more of your favorite lotion in here and reuse this. And it's just cute, like the packaging, a little milk jug, you know. You cannot beat that. I had paid six dollars for this and some like tax, but so cute. I gave her one of my beloved uh, extra polar ice gums. I can never have too much of these. If ever you want to send me gum, this is my favorite gum, guys. Love that. I gave her some purifying wipes from um, Global Beauty Care. This is the dupe for a bubble. I just gave her some nice... There's something really fresh about this, like when you put it on, it's cold. Like, I don't know if they make it like that, how they make it like that, but when I use them, every time I use these, this wipe makes me feel like I have a cold feeling on my face, like it makes it feel cold, like a nice cold sensation. And of course, last but not least, put a lid on it, boost, boo, boost spray, free boost spray. Basically, before you boo, you put this, you spray this in the toilet bowl, in the toilet bowl itself, like the water. Then you do your business, and then you flush, and it like releases a odor that is nice, and it masks the smell of the poo. I gave that to my mother. So see guys, and I have a big old bag. I will go over the gifts I gave to my best friend, uh, my best girlfriend. Um, for like 11 years now and um, she's been with me like she's like more than just my friend she's she's like my sister and um, I just love her so much so I got her a gift she just moved into a new apartment by herself and She'd been living with her parents, her mom, or her brother, and now she's living alone with her dog and um, her pit bull, uh, baby, and for baby. And um, I wanted to do something good for her. I should just start a new job as a caretaker. She does not watch YouTube, she doesn't, she's banned.
banned YouTube from her social medias because I think because she got addicted to it or something. So she doesn't get on YouTube anymore, so I'm not afraid of her watching. Um, uh, I'm getting it together. I'm getting her a balloon as well from Dollar Tree and uh, a couple of balloons, and I'm going to make her a cake. <laughs> so, as a uh, congratulations for her new job that she got as a caretaker. Which she needs. 